Welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is actually not a course related video. This is not a training video. This video is about systems administrator title video where you are going to college or you're trying to come to this title from help this or you're, uh, you have no idea what this position is about. So this is a conversation video but with more of visuals and things to show you exactly what's going on in a real world versus uh, training classes videos. Um, so you're going to college, you may not see some of the things that we see at work and somebody, like it's like internal information that I'm going to share with you and hopefully this will help you either decide to go for this position or you know or if you are going for this position then you, what you really need to learn uh, to actually land jobs uh, as a system administrator. I have another video where you can go to YouTube and just type uh, help desk um, versus system administrator job skills share so let me just show you that because in that video I can ex explain what kind of calls these two titles will be dealing with so uh, you can see right here help desk versus systems admin and you can just type job skills share and just search like that and you can see the first video will pop up like that help this versus systems administrator uh, systems administrator uh, need to fix that and it, let me put this link in the description and then you can basically check this video and then you can also help this to systems administrator you can check that video there's so many videos because the reason is that I made a mini course and now we are still updating that course you will see so many videos explaining the things I'm explaining today but that's so many videos so in this video I'm going to try to make it a little bit shorter so then you get a little bit overview the best way to find out today in this world today like you no know, right now in 2017 I always go to indeed.com or some some sites that are offering jobs the reason I go there is that look at if you are going to be landing for this title and if you don't know what they're going to be asked, uh, what you're going to be working on and what kind of trends are uh, going these days, then what, what happens is this. You will go through a lot of information. You will learn a lot of inf information from college. And maybe your college did just, just didn't spend time on this real world scenarios where they are not realizing that when you get out of the college, when you go to the interviews, they're not going to just ask you what is server 2012. They're not going to just ask you what is just VMware stuff. They're going to ask you some of the things that are just known these days, you know, like Cloudflare um, and being servers on the Amazon and you working with it. All these other things that are just extra now, you know, for a system administrator. Before it was also about just Windows and Windows administrator becomes a system administrator, network engineer becomes a network engineer. These are the titles, but now things are so complex that a company may just mix things up. You know, it doesn't matter. They're going to give you a title of a system administrator, but you're still working on VMware administration. You're still working on cloud stuff. You're still working on Cisco stuff. Either you become a network engineer, you're still doing all that stuff. And you will be doing it at some point, but since things are complex these days, so you can't just go for one title or a company requirements that that's it this is what system administrator system administration is about system administration even in terms of money can be a big change you know you can see a system administrator a senior will be going from 120 to 140 then even a senior administrator from this even they will say you will just get 50 to 60 depends on where you live depends on where you're from, what company you're going to apply for, this all depends on that. So take my word on this one because I'm telling you, one company will pay you $100,000 and you will be doing almost nothing. One company will pay you $60,000 and you're just going to be doing everything. So that's like your own research, whatever company you go for, uh, that's kind of like it. So for me, if you're going to a technical companies that are technical and basically actually supporting other companies. So you're a system administrator in a technical company. This company have another clients, 100, 200, 300, doesn't matter how many. So this job is going to be a very busy job. Now, one benefit of this is going you are going to be that system administrator who will know everything because you are going to be seeing things real world. You are going to be doing things, but it's going to be stressful. 
Now, it's really up to you. I mean, you, you consider stress a working. I mean, I consider too much work stress. If you're not working too much and you're kind of doing your own thing and making sure that everything is running and you're going deep inside one of the, you know, issues and you fix it, that's to me, I like that. But everybody has their own taste, you know, when it comes to IT. So you may may like that. And some people prefer like non-profit organization, uh, government jobs and things like that where you're doing you're doing things on a specific application. So my best way to start any job, and I have showed that in so many videos, that you can go to Indeed, search a title, and then click off one of, one of the titles. So let's say if I, if I click on this title, what they will be asking for is basically a lot of, uh, you know, most of the things are system related. But think of these things, they were not here before. Now, if you go five years ago or six years ago, or 10 years ago, you will never see this. Azure, Office 365, these are all new things. And this is why I'm making this video. And I'm updating my video because now you need these things. You can't just go for a system administration that deals with only servers, LDAP, TCP, IP, all that kind of stuff, that DNS. That's not it anymore. That's just one piece of it right now. So what you need to know now, they're also asking you to know, uh, like, you know, router and switches. That's normal. You know, that's that that was there before, too. But now this these things are new. And you can see the VMware stuff is in there. Virtualization is in there. Um, other stuff is in there. But even this is not completed. Now, if you go to the system administration job, you're not actually dealing with this stuff, just this stuff. Now, that's going to be like already think of this like this. You have a VMware uh, infrastructure, you know, in place, and you have all the servers and hosts and everything is running. You're mostly not working to build this again. You're just working inside the virtual machines and servers and moving the virtual machines from one host to another host. And maybe something goes bad. You may call the support and things like that. But you're not working on this daily thing, you know. As a system administrator, you don't just move servers like every day, you know, unless you work for a very big company and your job is just doing that. But most of the normal system administrators don't do that. You know, they just work on virtualization like you know simple like you know call like oh you know we're having issues with the memory so you just go to the the administration side and you just do that but even more than that you know now a system administration job is more like you know your companies these days uh, front face is the websites and you don't work on coding and stuff like that I'm not saying that you work on most of the IAS web servers and whatever it's in it so a lot of web companies have big sites and I have made a video. So if you go to Jobs Could Share IIS, you just type that. And I'll explain that more in detail in this video. So you may watch one, you may want to watch this video. So you can see we have a IIS server right here. This is just a default site, but that's in reality. It's not like this. It's like a big uh, applications inside one website. So you as a system administrator now, you need to know IIS stuff because if you come in here and somebody call you that, look, we are having issues with this one application, and then you need to know what is app pool, how to reset the app pool without resetting the whole site. You know, you, you don't want to do that. So this is something important now. You know, if you're going for these jobs and, and let's say a company is running a Windows web, uh, web server, IS web server, they are going to ask you these questions. And if you don't know, then it's going to be hard for you to land that job. And it's going to be stressful for you, for you also because now you came just from a college or some other place that you think that it was just about, you know, installing a server or maybe a, a installing a server in a virtual uh, environment. That's it. You know, you're, that's not it. So you have to work on all these new features that, that, that are part of a system administrator job now. Unless a company hires somebody specifically for this, like I said, most of the companies will not be doing that. You as a system admin, you get $80,000, $900,000 or something like that. You probably will be working on this kind of stuff. So that's kind of reality. You know, a lot of people complain about this, but that is the reality. You do work on so many different things, but it's okay. You know, things are easy once you get on it. Now, not just that, you know, think about this. It, 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 today, people are putting load balancers. You're not only dealing with one server now. You're dealing with many servers. So if I can show my bad drawing right here, I'm just going to show you guys. So before, you know, let's say, for example, we had one server right here, and you would be dealing with this server first physically, and then whatever is install a site, you know, a website, and now you're actually dealing with that website, you know, why is it slow and all that stuff. So you're basically going for one feature of the server, which is IIS server. So now one part is your main server learning, like you learn about this server stuff, what it is and 
what, what if there's a space issue what what of what there's a memory issue but then now you need to also learn about IAS which is also a part of this server you know you you basically install that inside the roles and when you go into the web um, server administration you will learn that but all these terms that I'm using I'm not teaching about that it's just that I'm telling you that that's what you need to learn so that's some you need to learn about this then you need to also learn about the website but that's not it these days you know what about what about now you what happened is that you in a company will be working on a big virtualization system right here like for example this is a VMware and now that piece is just this piece in this big uh, host right here you know this this server is holding this server now that's virtualized you know this becomes this and now this site is like that so you now not only your you need to learn about the VMware this is now your VMware education you're going to be doing all that now you're going to be managing this from a virtual point of view not a physical point of view you're going to be doing this a virtual point of view where you need to learn everything like that but oh okay that's there's more to it this this is just a, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, old school here now I'm going to a little bit advanced now what about cloud now you know we take we took all of this to the cloud so what what you do is now and I'm not saying that this is going to be it so you may be working for a company that is going to be still using the physical stuff like that you may be working for a company that's going to be using VMware uh, or a, a mixed environment like that or you may be working for a company that is using Amazon AWS you probably hear this word a lot AWS right here and now things are moved to the cloud so all of this right here is moved right now to the cloud and now you're doing the same thing on the cloud so what you need to learn about now is the Amazon technology also how do you get to the cloud how do you install a server on the cloud how do you do all that stuff how do you re restart services how do you connect your machine with the cloud so that is always connected all that kind of stuff you know it's not just about Amazon you could be using a Windows Azure so you need to learn about Azure stuff so think about all of these scenarios in your head that when you try to go for these jobs you don't need to master all this but you need to know what it is actually what is the picture what is the bigger picture now what's going on now so that's why people are going to ask you about these questions and not only does, does that it just doesn't end then you have let's say one server uh, you have VMware right here but let's say on Amazon you have you have server right here that's doing the same thing now what these two were doing and that's the site running from your Amazon uh, server but what if it's not one server now whoa you need to know about three servers low balancers now what about low balancers now you need to learn about that technology and all that how it works when you learn about load balancer that's another thing like, you know, so right now these are three servers running inside your load balancer um, it could be a hardware equipment software whatever it is you know it's running you need to learn about that so that's another new thing for you but when you know you have all these things how do you troubleshoot it then so let's say you have three servers how would you even troubleshoot an issue with one server maybe this user this user is on this server this user is on this server this user is on this server and somebody complained that I cannot get to the site how would you know which one is down so this is where you need to know your stuff you need to know about IS so you can find out which app pool is down so then easily you will get an email this is how we work you know if let's say my site is down I will get an email the server 2 app pool is stuck or running is not it's not running or the server is down so I know this person will have issues and they call I know they're gonna have issues I'm gonna restart the app pool or do something about it these two are good but how did I find out if you're if you're new and you don't know this stuff somebody don't tell you about this then this is where the stressful moment will start for you of course this is a learning moment also but I'm showing you this stuff so then in future at least you're not stressed about this mentality that you know where, where are these things coming from so the whole point of this video is this when you when you want to become a system administrator don't just go for this stuff this is good for you to start only you need to be asking different systems administrators and ask them hey I know you work on servers I know you work on virtualization VMware stuff and all that kind of stuff you know strobe shooting but is there anything else that you do that that is the, the that's your main part of your job 
So you will find out from different system administrator different tools that they're going to be using, but almost everyone will tell you something similar, you know, either a cloud virtualization or things like that. So this way you can learn more than just what your college is teaching you, what your class is teaching you, you know, so when you go to a real world, you should be able to talk to people in an interview. Now, that said, this is another thing that Cloudflare right here, you know, the, the whole jobskillshare.org site is on Cloudflare right now, and and there's servers behind it and all that kind of stuff. So, but what about this stuff, you know, if I didn't know, and I go to a company, and the company is heavily ut utilizing Cloudflare, and if they ask me questions about it, I might not be able to even answer it. And that's going to be a, a little bit negative point. I mean, of course, that's really up to them if they want to hire you. But if there's another person with you, another interview right after you, and this person knows about Cloudflare, they're going to prefer that person because now I don't need to teach them about Cloudflare. So this is it, guys. I just wanted to give you a picture in your head when you go to system administrator job or any other IT jobs. So that's how I look at it that's how I train myself for if I want to go to a new job and then when I go to the interviews I'm pretty confident and maybe it will help you too thank you very much I'll see you guys in a different video